So we all, most of us at least, have like boxes, right? In our garages, our houses, wherever. Amazon boxes, boxes that things came in. And if you're like me and you have a really hard time like getting rid of these boxes, video is for you. I have some, oh my God, I can't even talk. Some really unique ways that you can upcycle and repurpose those boxes. Don't throw them out. Let's get crafting. up we are going to make this fun planter so for this i am recycling a box that i had this was actually for a eye massager which is awesome um but what i loved about this box besides the really pretty color was that it's super sturdy um it is like kind of like a card stock cardboard if that makes sense so I didn't have to paint it, which is a bonus. And then these are actually some wood cutout earrings that I picked up a while ago from Hobby Lobby. Oh no, these are from Michaels actually, but either store. So I am just gonna make two rows of this. Now you could fill in if you want the hole the earring is, but I didn't mind it, especially because I have them going in opposite directions. So you have like the holes in the top, the holes in the bottom, but totally personal preference. So once I have those all glued on, I'm going to go ahead and add a bamboo skewer from the Dollar Tree that I cut to size just to kind of add another aspect to this. Now let me know in the comments if you save your boxes like I do. I have a ridiculous amount of boxes in my laundry room. Um, I could probably do a ton of videos with cardboard boxes that's how many I have. So let me know if you're the same. Now I'm going to take this two pack of mini macrame shelves from Dollar Tree and these fit perfect on the size box that I'm using and I'm going to hot glue them on either side so they act as legs. Now obviously I just want to say um, this planter box that I'm using it for I would do faux plants because if you water them and they drain that's not good for any cardboard. But you can also use this as like an organizer. There's so many different things that you can do with a piece like this. But I think this is a really fun way to take something that you would recycle and make it into a high-end piece of decor. So let me know what you think in the comments. Next up, I'm going to take an Amazon box. I spray painted this, um, which held up fine. I just made sure that I didn't go crazy with the spray paint. And I just cut to size a Dollar Tree scrap wood piece on the top. Now I'm going to take those same wood cutout earrings. So this is a really good hack or kind of idea. Um, if you go to like the jewelry section of a craft store and you see like wood cut out earrings or just even some beaded things that you think are really pretty but you're not going to necessarily use for jewelry making, you can still get them and incorporate them in your DIYs. I think it's a great way to just kind of explore your creativity. Um, so I just kind of played around with how I wanted them and then once I did, I kind of did this staggered pattern and if you notice, it kind of creates like a Nordic looking star in the middle, which I totally did not have planned, but I loved how this turned out. So there's really no rhyme or reason to this. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the pattern I did, but this is just for inspiration. Now, what I liked about this box, and I did spray paint the inside also, is that it's a great size. So this is a great option for an upcycle if you want like a nice way to roll up some blankets and have them decoratively stored. So you know I like to combine function and decor on my channel. So this definitely does that. And look, I saved an Amazon box and Amazon's at my house like all the time. Anyone else? In a recent video, um, I actually did this with Dollar Tree foam board, but the same project can be recreated with the cardboard from a box. I have this printable down in the description box below, but I just cut it out and then I went ahead and attached it to my scrap foam board. But again, this would work great for just a cardboard box. 
Now I'm going to add some hot glue around and then I'm going to add an embroidery hoop. This is from the Dollar Tree. So the printable that I made does fit the larger size of the Dollar Tree embroidery hoops, but of course you can always pick one up at a craft store or you can totally not use it and then instead use some nautical rope. So I'm going to use my box cutter and carefully cut this away. I find it so much easier to just glue, have everything set first and then cut it. Um, I just find that it's an easier way so you get everything trim and the way that you need it. And then I took some nautical rope from Dollar Tree, the cotton one, hot glued that around, even a really pretty kind of vintage inspired piece of decor that cost practically nothing to make. is an oldie but goodie. This is a project from when I first started my channel. So, uh, bon bon I can't even talk. Bonus points. There we go. If you remember this video. I'm talking this was like 3 years ago. <laughs> Hence like the camera and all that, but I was still learning. So basically, I took the bottom of a box, I painted it, added some scrap paper to the inside, and then I am just kind of like faux distressing it. You don't have to, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this. Um, but I did add some stickers. These were from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe. You can also use stickers from Dollar Tree, craft stores, whatever you have. I did go over them with some Mod Podge just to make sure that everything stays in place. And that is it for this. Now I did decide um, to add some wire jute, kind of as faux handles, but you don't have to do that. That's totally optional. Um, but yeah, once I added that, you have a really pretty tray. Again, my advice for this is just to go with boxes that are sturdy. Um, you don't want to do an upcycle, especially if there's paint involved or glue, if it's not a sturdy box. But if you have a sturdy box, then you are good to go. oldie but goodie is this upcycled mail organizer again using the bottom of a box some Dollar Tree foam board and supplies and this was super easy to me foam board that I had left over from a previous project I picked up at Dollar Tree and as you saw I just placed it kind of on the inside of the box made a mark to see how long I needed to make my line and I traced with a ruler and am cutting on a diagonal three times to make three elongated triangles which will be the dividers for this meal organizer. I hope that makes sense but I think if you just watch what I'm doing it's pretty clear and as always I am always struggling to cut my foam board. Now, I did say you need three, but then I realized you really only need two dividers. You can certainly use three, but to have the three categories, I just needed two. And then I'm just going to cut the ends of the triangle, so like that bottom point. I'm gonna cut it flat so it fits. And once I have that done, I'm gonna go in with Rust-Oleum chalk paint and linen white and give the inside and outside of the cardboard box a nice even coat. I was able to get away with one coat. A little bit of the cardboard showed through in the inside, but in my opinion, it just adds to the rusticness, so that was that. Then once that is done, I'm gonna go in with this Prisma Color. It's pretty much like a painter's pen from Walmart, which honestly I prefer. This one, which you will see, this Prismacolor paint pen I picked up at AC Moore forever ago. I'm just using it until I get to Walmart to get more of the painter's pen. I'm just outlining on both sides the triangle and black. I thought it would give a nice touch to it, but you'll see like this pen is very runny. I feel like where the painter's pen 
kind of dries much quicker, but it gets the job done. So I'm just going to go ahead, like I said, do see the mess, <laughs> the front and back of both the triangles. And I'm also going to do the line that goes down so that when I do at the end, put the dividers in, you don't see the foam, if that makes sense. So being the upcycle person that I am, I decided just to use a piece of a uh, post office like priority mailbox cardboard that I had and it's kind of ironic because it's a mail organizer but I'm just going to place that on top of this floral contact paper from Dollar Tree cut it to size peel it put it on the cardboard and just fold I like to cut slits on the bottom and top I find it's just easier to fold the contact paper and have a more even edge And I decided to go on top of that piece of cardboard with the contact paper. I'm just taking a small piece of foam board I had laying around, cut it to size, and I'm using some of these vinyl stickers. I forget if I got these at Dollar Tree a while ago or Target Dollar Spot, I've had them forever. Just gonna spell mail, since this is a mail organizer, and then I'm just adding this little touch to the sign with that painter's pen. So now I'm just going to take these black and white sticker labels and I'm going to put three of them on the front of the cardboard box for the three categories I will be using for this mail organizer. And then I'm just gonna take some Waverly chalk paint and truffle and dry brush throughout the box. Once all dry brushing is complete and dry, now comes the fun part, which is assembling. So first I'm going to hot glue the mail sign to that back piece of cardboard with the contact paper. I'm gonna add some hot glue to the bottom of that and just press that on the back of the cardboard. Now you are gonna wanna put it high enough so you can see it over your divider, so I just made sure I eyeballed that. Now I'm taking four small pieces of foam board and I'm gonna put two and two on either side inside of the box and that is where I will be hot gluing the dividers onto. I just felt that since I am using foam, it's just gonna hold those dividers much more securely. Before I glue the dividers in, I'm gonna take this two pack of rulers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to trace around the ruler on the inside of this dark green contact paper also from Dollar Tree four times. I'm going to put these, as you'll see in a second, on either side of the organizer. So I'm just going to trace them, cut them out, and then I'm just going to peel and place a piece of the contact paper on each ruler, front and back. paper is on the rulers. I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue each of the rulers to the side of the organizer. And you can see I'm doing that here, pretty self-explanatory. And once those side pieces are there, I am just going to add a little bit of hot glue on each of those two pieces of foam board. Well, it's four pieces of foam board that I glued in the inside and I am just going to put the dividers inside the box. And this is how it turned out. I decided to make three categories in, out, and fills. And I love how simple this project was. I love upcycling. It's just such a fun way to be creative and recycle. And I love that I'm actually going to be able to use this for my mail. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas of what to do with those leftover boxes. Let me know some projects that you maybe have done upcycling some boxes and let me know if you want to see some more upcycle videos like this. Like I said, I have a ton of just items, boxes, random things I keep. So I'm totally cool with doing some more videos like this if you want to see them. If you're not subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.